The story of lions began more than 20 million years ago, when the first members of the Felidae family appeared on Earth. These early members were smaller and resembled modern wildcats. It is believed that they evolved from a common ancestor that lived during the Eocene Epoch, which began around 56 million years ago and lasted until about 33.9 million years ago. The Eocene Epoch was a crucial period in the history of mammals, marked by significant climatic changes and the emergence of many modern mammal families. During the early Eocene epoch, the Earth's climate was warm and humid, with lush vegetation covering vast areas. This period saw the development of diverse ecosystems, ranging from dense tropical forests to open savannas. These varied environments provided numerous niches for mammals to exploit, leading to a significant diversification of species. Early mammals adapted to these new habitats, and the ancestors of modern carnivores, including the Felidae family, began to emerge. The early Felidae family members were small, graceful animals with strong and flexible bodies adapted for hunting. Their physical characteristics included long legs for quick running, sharp claws for grasping and tearing prey, and sharp teeth for biting through meat. These adaptations were essential for survival in a world where they had to compete with other predators for food. The size of these early felids was comparable to modern wildcats, such as servals or ocelots, weighing from several to several dozen kilograms. These solitary hunters lived in forests and savannas, their lives revolving primarily around hunting and defending their territory. They were highly territorial animals, marking their boundaries with scent markings and defending them against intruders. Their hunting techniques involved stealth and ambush, relying on their keen senses of sight and smell to locate prey and their agility to capture it. Significant evolutionary changes occurred during this period, with the ancestors of modern cats developing features that made them efficient predators. One of the most critical adaptations was the development of retractable claws. Unlike other mammals with fixed claws, felids could retract their claws into protective sheaths when not in use, keeping them sharp for hunting. This adaptation gave them a significant advantage over other predators, allowing them to maintain their claws in excellent condition. In addition to retractable claws, early felids developed other adaptations that enhanced their hunting abilities. Their keen sense of sight, particularly their ability to see in low-light conditions, allowed them to hunt effectively at dawn and dusk when many prey animals were most active. Their sense of smell was also highly developed, enabling them to detect the scent of prey from a distance. Their agile bodies, with flexible spines and powerful muscles, allowed them to move quickly and silently through their environment stalking their prey with precision. The Eocene Epoch also saw the emergence of early social behaviors among philids. While many early philids were solitary hunters, some species began to exhibit social behaviors, such as cooperative hunting and sharing of resources. These behaviors laid the groundwork for the complex social structures seen in modern lions and other large cats. The warm and humid climate of the early Eocene Epoch gradually gave way to cooler and more arid conditions, these climatic changes led to the expansion of grasslands and the decline of dense forests in some regions. As a result, early felids had to adapt to new environments and prey species. This period of climatic and environmental change drove the evolution of the Felidae family, leading to the emergence of new species with specialized adaptations for different habitats. The diversification of early mammals during the Eocene epoch laid the foundation for the evolution of modern carnivores, the Felidae family, with its unique adaptations and evolutionary innovations, became one of the most successful groups of predators. Over millions of years, felids continued to evolve and diversify, giving rise to the various species of big cats we know today, including lions, tigers, leopards and cheetahs. As we move into the Miocene Epoch, about 10 to 20 million years ago, we see the emergence of larger cats, such as the Macerodontinae, saber-toothed cats, these animals were significantly larger than their predecessors and had long, saber-like teeth used for hunting. The Miocene Epoch, which began around 23 million years ago and lasted until about 5.3 million years ago, was a period of profound transformation and diversification for many animal groups, including the ancestors of modern lions. The Miocene Epoch was characterized by a warmer climate and significant geological changes. Tectonic movements and volcanic activity reshaped the Earth's surface, creating new mountain ranges, valleys, and basins. These geological changes, combined with a shifting climate, led to the development of diverse habitats ranging from open plains to dense forested areas. 
The global climate during this period was generally warmer and more stable than in the preceding epochs, fostering the growth of extensive grasslands. The rise of grasslands was a crucial development during the Miocene epoch. Grasslands provided a new and abundant source of food for herbivores, leading to an increase in the populations of grazing animals. This in turn created a plentiful supply of prey for large predators like the Machairodontini. The expansion of grasslands and the spread of grazing animals significantly influenced the evolution of large predatory mammals. Members of the Machairodontini family, often referred to as saber-toothed cats, were among the most formidable predators of the Miocene epoch. These large predators had powerful bodies and long, sharp teeth, sometimes reaching up to 20 centimeters in length. The saber-like canines were not only distinctive, but also highly specialized for their hunting strategy. These cats could weigh from 200 to 400 kilograms, making them some of the largest terrestrial predators of their time. The physical characteristics of Macherodontina were well suited for their role as apex predators. Their muscular bodies provided the strength needed to take down large prey, while their elongated canines were designed to deliver fatal bites. These cats likely targeted the throats or soft underbellies of their prey, using their powerful jaws and sharp teeth to inflict deep wounds. The saber-toothed cat's dental adaptations were complemented by their robust forelimbs, which helped them grapple with struggling prey. It is believed that members of the Machairodontini family lived in social groups much like modern lions. Social living would have provided several advantages, including cooperative hunting and protection against other predators. Cooperative hunting allowed these large cats to take down prey much larger than themselves, such as mastodons and early horses. Working in groups would have increased their hunting success rate and ensured a steady food supply for the group. The hunting strategy of Machairodontini likely involved ambushing their prey. These cats would use the cover of vegetation to stalk their targets, getting as close as possible before launching a swift and powerful attack. The element of surprise, combined with their physical prowess, made them highly effective hunters. Their ability to bring down large herbivores would have placed them at the top of the food chain in their respective ecosystems. The Miocene Epoch was a time of great evolutionary experimentation, leading to the diversification of many animal groups. The changing environment and the availability of new niches drove the evolution of new species with specialized adaptations. For the ancestors of modern lions, this period was critical for developing traits that would later become hallmarks of the Panthera genus, these early big cats began to exhibit features such as larger body sizes, stronger jaws, and more complex social behaviors, setting the stage for the evolution of the true lions that would appear in later epochs. Transitioning into the Pleistocene epoch, about 2.6 million years ago, we encounter the first true lions, Panthera leo. This epoch, which lasted until about 11,700 years ago, was a time of significant climatic fluctuations marked by cycles of ice ages and interglacial periods. These climate changes created a complex and diverse habitat mosaic that required lions to adapt to a variety of environmental conditions. During the Pleistocene, lions spread from their origins in Africa to other parts of the world, including Europe and North America. This widespread distribution was facilitated by land bridges that connected continents during periods of lower sea levels. As lions expanded their range, they adapted to different environments, from the African savannas to the cold steppe tundra of Europe and North America. The early lions of the Pleistocene epoch were large, muscular animals with short fur. Males developed pronounced manes, which could vary in size and color depending on the region and environmental conditions. These manes likely served multiple purposes, including protection during fights with other males, attraction of females, and possibly even as a signal of health and vitality. The size of these lions was similar to that of current African lions, with weights ranging from 150 to 250 kilograms. Some northern populations, adapted to colder climates, might have been even larger. Lions during this period lived in social groups called prides, much like their modern descendants. A pride typically consisted of several related females, their offspring and a coalition of one or more males. This social structure provided several advantages, including cooperative hunting, shared defense of territory, and communal care of the young. The development of strong social bonds and cooperative behaviors was crucial for the survival and success of these early lions. Their primary prey included large herbivores such as bison, horses, and even mammoths. 
Hunting such large and formidable prey required coordination and teamwork. Lions developed sophisticated hunting techniques that allowed them to take down animals much larger than themselves. They often used ambush tactics, leveraging their stealth and strength to overpower their prey. The cooperative hunting strategies of prides allowed them to exploit a wide range of prey species, ensuring a stable food supply. The Pleistocene epoch was characterized by dramatic environmental changes. During glacial periods, large ice sheets covered significant portions of the northern continents, drastically altering habitats. Interglacial periods brought warmer temperatures and the retreat of glaciers, leading to the expansion of forests and grasslands. These climatic oscillations forced lions to continuously adapt to shifting environments and changing prey availability. Despite their adaptability and success, the end of the Pleistocene saw many large mammals, including some lion species, facing extinction. This period, known as the Quaternary Extinction Event, was driven by a combination of climate change and human activities. As the climate warmed and glaciers retreated, many large herbivores that lions depended on for food began to disappear. Additionally, early humans spreading across the globe competed with lions for prey and directly hunted them, further exacerbating their decline. In Europe and North America, lions eventually went extinct, leaving Africa as their primary stronghold. The loss of these apex predators in certain regions had profound impacts on the ecosystems, leading to changes in the structure and dynamics of animal communities. The decline of large prey species and increased human pressures created challenging conditions for lion populations, necessitating further adaptations and changes in behavior. The Pleistocene Epoch was a time of great challenges and transformations for lions. Their ability to adapt to diverse environments, develop complex social structures, and employ cooperative hunting strategies allowed them to thrive for millions of years. However, the combined pressures of climate change and human expansion ultimately led to the contraction of their range and the extinction of some populations. The story of lions during the Pleistocene is a testament to their resilience and adaptability, traits that have enabled their continued survival into the present day. In the Holocene Epoch, which began about 11,700 years ago, lions became the dominant predators in Africa. This epoch, marking the period of human dominance on Earth, is characterized by a stable and warm climate that supported the development of agriculture and the rise of civilizations. These climatic conditions led to significant changes in land use, resulting in the transformation of vast natural habitats into agricultural and urban areas. As human populations grew and spread, the impact on lion habitats became increasingly profound. During the early Holocene, lions enjoyed a wide distribution across Africa, parts of Europe and into Asia. However, human activities soon began to restrict their range. In Europe and North America, lions went extinct due to a combination of hunting pressures and habitat loss. The expansion of human settlements, along with the advent of advanced hunting tools and techniques, put immense pressure on lion populations. As human societies transitioned from hunter-gatherer lifestyles to settled agricultural communities, the competition for land and resources intensified. Modern lions are large, muscular animals with prominent manes for males, while females lack manes and are smaller. Males weigh from 150 to 250 kilograms, while females weigh from 120 to 180 kilograms. The mane of a male lion, which can vary in color and size, serves multiple purposes, including protection during fights, attraction of females, and as a sign of health and vigor. The presence of a mane can also signal a male lion's strength and dominance to rivals. Lions live in social groups called prides, which typically consist of several related females, their offspring, and one or more adult males. This social structure provides several advantages, such as cooperative hunting, shared defense of territory, and communal care of the young. The cooperative behaviors and strong social bonds within a pride are crucial for the survival and success of lions. Females who do most of the hunting work together to bring down large herbivores such as zebras, gazelles and buffaloes. These coordinated hunting strategies increase their efficiency and success rate. The rise of human civilizations during the Holocene Epoch led to increased habitat fragmentation and hunting pressures significantly impacting lion populations. As human settlements expanded, lions were often pushed into smaller, isolated pockets of habitat. This fragmentation not only reduced the available space for lions, but also disrupted their natural behaviors and social structures. The conversion of land for agriculture and urban development led to the loss of crucial habitats and prey species. 
further straining lion populations. In addition to habitat loss, hunting and poaching have had a severe impact on lion numbers. Lions were hunted for sport as trophies and sometimes to protect livestock. This direct persecution, combined with the loss of natural prey due to overhunting by humans, created a dire situation for many lion populations. The decline in prey availability forced lions to venture closer to human settlements in search of food, often leading to conflicts with humans. Conservation efforts in the late 20th and early 21st centuries have focused on mitigating these threats and protecting remaining lion populations. Establishing protected areas such as national parks and wildlife reserves has been a critical strategy in preserving lion habitats. These protected areas provide a safe haven for lions and their prey, allowing populations to stabilize and recover. Community-based conservation programs have also been implemented, involving local communities in the protection of lions and their habitats. These programs aim to reduce human-wildlife conflicts and promote sustainable coexistence. Despite these efforts, lions continue to face significant challenges. Habitat fragmentation remains a pressing issue as human populations and activities expand further into lion territories. Climate change also poses a new set of challenges, potentially altering the availability of water and prey in lion habitats. To ensure the long-term survival of lions, ongoing conservation efforts must address these multifaceted threats and work towards creating sustainable environments where lions and humans can coexist. Today, lions live only in Africa and a small area of the Gir Forest in India. Their population has significantly decreased due to human activities such as agricultural expansion, habitat loss and poaching. Despite these challenges, lions remain crucial members of ecosystems, regulating other animal populations and maintaining ecosystem health. Current challenges for lions include habitat loss, human-wildlife conflict, disease and poaching. Conservation measures to address these threats involve establishing protected areas, habitat restoration, reducing conflicts with humans through community engagement and education, and disease control. There are also success stories in lion conservation. For example, community-based conservation initiatives in Botswana and Namibia have helped stabilize and even increase lion populations. These programs involve local communities in conservation efforts, providing them with economic benefits in exchange for protecting wildlife reducing human-wildlife conflicts and promoting sustainable coexistence.